Next, we'll cover the functional testing you'll be performing on the system. You'll find instructions for each of these tests included on each component's installation sheet that are packed in the shipping carton. The purpose of the leak test is to verify that the hanging hardware components are leak tight. The test involves just three steps. One, purge air by pumping one-tenth to two-tenths of a gallon of fuel into an approved container. Two, visually inspect each hose joint connection for liquid leaks. Three, make adjustments to the hose joint connections if necessary. The purpose of the nozzle shutoff test is to be sure the nozzle properly shuts off when the lever is disengaged. One, start by dispensing fuel into an approved container. There should be enough fuel to submerge the end of the spout. Two, with the front end compressed, engage the hold open latch on the low setting. Three, submerge the end of the spout until the sensing hole is covered. Four, the nozzle will shut off. Disengage the hold open latch at this point. If the nozzle fails to shut off, replace the nozzle. Be sure to fill out the nozzle return tag and attach it to the claim product being returned to VST. Now, let's move to the meter creep test. The purpose of the meter creep test is to verify the integrity of the connections to verify there are no leaks. The meter creep test has two steps. One, after the components are installed, dispense enough fuel to eliminate any air. Two, move the assembly around to see if the meter on the dispenser changes. If the meter changes, go back and check the integrity of all the hanging hardware connections. And now, the last of the functional tests, the resistance test. The purpose of the resistance test is to confirm that there is a ground path from the nozzle all the way back to the dispenser in order to avoid static buildup. There is one step. Set an electronic multimeter on the high range of the ohmmeter function. The resistance should not indicate more than 70,000 ohms per foot of hose. For example, the measured resistance of a 12-foot hose must not exceed 840,000 ohms, or 840 kiloohms. You've reached the end of this video.